Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Today we're going to be going over some of the features that Brevo has to offer and why it can be such an easy interface for customers to navigate. A few of the features we're going to be going over today is adding and removing users, adding schedules, making reports, checking activity, and adding administrators. So let's get into it. The first one we're going to go over is adding and removing users. So we're going to go ahead and go up to users, hover over and click on users. There, as you can see, we have some of our office staff already included. To add a new user, we're going to click on the new user button. We're going to enter their first and last name as those are required. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and add myself. And go ahead and click Save Identity. So once you add the user, they are in the system, but you'll need to add them to a group to give them certain permissions. As you can see, this user is not a part of any group, so we'll go ahead and change that by clicking the Choose button. We're going to go ahead and click on Office Staff, as that's the category the user belongs to. Once you click on it, you'll see User is Added to Group. That means they were successfully added to the group. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Once they're added to the group, that means they do have permissions to access certain doors, but for them to access the certain doors, they'll need a credential. We'll go ahead and click on Credential. You can choose from a PIN, a card reference number, a individual card, or a Brevo on air pass, which is the mobile pass. We're going to go ahead and add a HID card. Go ahead and click on any one of these. And then again, you'll see that successful message that says card has been assigned to user. Close out that. So once you add them a card, they'll have access. So as you can see, the steps we went through make it super easy and time efficient to just add a quick user. Um, if you wanted to deny that user access, you can just go ahead and revoke their credential. Or you can even take them out of a group, which denies all their access. And if you know for a fact that this person will no longer be in the group, you can always delete the user. So the next thing we're going to go over is adding a schedule. To go ahead and do that, it's super easy. Just go ahead and go up to Setup. I'm going to go to Schedules and click on Schedules. As you can see, we have a couple here. To add a new schedule, you just click on New Schedule. Adjust it for the times that you want the door to be open or that the person to have access to. Make sure it's for the site that you want it. And add any holidays that you may have. And then you'll want to save the schedule. It makes it super easy and efficient to just on the fly add schedules to certain groups or doors. The next thing we're going to go over is checking activity. It's super easy to check activity. It's actually just one click of a button up here at the top left hand corner. Click on activity and you'll see the activity through the door. You'll see anyone that has entered their code or if a door has unlocked via timer as here. You can also see any unknown credentials. For example, if someone enters the wrong pin, you'll see it here located. The fourth thing we're going to go over is going to be reports. Again, it, because of this interface, it's super easy. We're going to go up to Reports. You're going to go ahead and do My Reports, Report Configuration. So once you get to Report Configuration, you're just going to click on New Report Configuration. You're going to want to click on the type of report that you want. For this example, we're going to do User Activity Report. Create this report. And this is where you add the report name, the groups that you'll want to see, the specific users you want to see. If you have multiple sites, multiple devices are the doors, and of course, the time that it happened. So once you are done filling out your fields, you're just going to save the report configuration. So once you hit save, you're going to go up here to more operations. You're going to run the report. Once you get to this page, you can choose the format options, who to send it to, email notifications, and of course, which language. Once you're done, you just hit run report. Once it's here, it does take a little time for it to run. Once it's done, though, you'll see an output here. You may have to refresh. Once the icon pops up, you just click on it and your report downloads right away. The final thing we'll be going over today is adding an administrator. Administrators are people who have access to log into your Brevo account. To do that, it's super easy. We're just going to go back to home, on setup, accounts, and administrators. As you can see, we only have one administrator. With senior administrators, they have all permissions. Assistant administrators, you can choose permissions. So we're going to go ahead and add a new senior administrator. Once you click on new administrator, 
you just get taken to a, a form to fill out their information. Once that's done, you save them and they'll have access to login. So that concludes all the topics we're going to go over today. The reason why we like Rebo so much is that it's such an easy interface to use and it's made for the modern business person.